Your Excellency, this ceremony marks yet another major milestone in history as it signifies the construction phase of this international trading and commercial center. Greater Port Signal Authority is indeed pleased to be part of this historic moment. Today's event is very unique in the sense that it reaffirms the interest of your government in the welfare of its citizens. For us in Greater Port Harcourt, the 20,000 housing development, and now this International Autos Commercial Center are projects that are very dear to our heart. Besides the economic benefits, it also restore, will restore sanity in the conduct of auto mechanics and spear pass dealers in the state capital and its metropolis. The littered spear parts shops, mechanic workshops, and other related commercial activities all around the beautiful city of Port Harcourt has over time defaced our garden city. But this will be a thing of the past in the nearest future. Your Excellency, your firm commitment in giving attention to all sectors of our economy in the face of daunting challenges, including the zeal to develop new towns and cities in River State is not a mere rhetoric, but a firm commitment backed by the political will to change the old narrative. This laudable project, when completed, will accommodate various shifts of business interests, thereby giving our state a comparative advantage in the South-South and beyond as a choice destination in the automobile and spare parts business. This great feat will stimulate our local economy by creating more jobs for our teaming youths, generate revenue for the government, and improve the general living standards of citizens in River State. Your Excellency, with all sense of modesty, posterity will judge your administration kindly for your bold steps in governance and infrastructural development. This indeed is the case of promise made and promise fulfilled. Thank you, Your Excellency, for marching words with action. The Greater Potaco State Authority is exceedingly proud to be associated with your mandate and visionary leadership. Once again, Welcome, Your Excellency, to this flag of ceremony. We have over 10,000 lock-up shops. Uh, we have a car modern showroom that will feature all the brands, Toyota, Mercedes, Hyundai, all your support, you will need to know. We have over 50 number industrial warehouses for exporters and importers. We have 25 banking facility buildings. We have uh, 25 brand plazas for major brand importers and ex exporters, ventures. We also have an ultra-modern modern mechanic complex for diagnosis and repairs. We have over 10,000 
car park facilities. We have food courts. We have mega filling stations. We have hotel facilities. We have export and import trading facilities. Almost everything you can think of in a complex. So this arrangement is well thought out by the governor to encompass every businessman in this state to ensure that we have a one-stop spot where every business is logistics is, is put together. You have the post just 15 minutes away from you and you have a real market next door. You have a way and you have furniture as your binding and labels. You can be sure that this market is literally located to housewife whatever business arrangement anyone will be thinking about on the face of the year. It is my pleasure to have you all welcome and to be a part of this project. And I assure you that we'll waste no time to commence work. And the next, next phase, the next six months, we shall be talking about completion. Thank you very much and God bless you. A man of peace, a man with a heart for God, and a man who is dedicated to the service of his people. His Excellency, Sir Sibeni Alai Fubara, Grand Service Star of River State and Governor of River State. <laughs> Let me also recognize the elders of our dear state, Dr. Samson Jaja, Chief Adokia Mesimaka, Chief David Brice, Chief Wenzi, and a lot of them that are here. His Majesties and Highnesses, more especially the traditional rulers of Elelemo that has honored us this afternoon. Members of the State Executive Council, permanent secretaries, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, members of the press. I am really happy that we're making another significant impact in our dear state. We are a government who believe in the well-being and the growth of our state. Genuinely not because we own any business around here not because we have shops that we intend renting here but the growth of river states when we came on board we heard about this international automobile market or spell park market and we invited the initial partner why are you not going on with this project is a project that while we were campaigning we promised our brothers who are vast in this business that will give you a one-stop shop why are you not going on with this business? And they came up with a lot of issues. And we said, from what we're seeing, you don't have the capacity. We need to get another partner that will embark on this project because it's important to us. And by the glory of God, today, 
gush fill that space. And they are here today to commence on that project. We're not just coming here to flag off. We want to see it in reality. That is what we stand for. It's not coming to uh, flag off and tomorrow it doesn't work. We're not part of that. We're not into show business. We're not here to dance. We're here. We're here to walk and you see it. Yes. For our partner, we have done everything that we need to do. We have settled the initial partner who defaulted. We paid them off so you don't have any issue going on with this project. It is our level of commitment to our dear people. The community will need your support. At the time when this business, this uh, premises will be properly put in place, it will change the economic state of this environment. People will be employed. Businesses will strive. For those of you that are landlord, you have more tenants, you also increase your house rent. <laughs> you can see the, the triple effect of this investment. So we need your cooperation. My great people, one of I was one of your neighbor. I, was a, I started live here. So I want you a little more to give the company all the support. Own this business, own this investment, be part of it for it to succeed. I think that is the most important thing. If there is any problem, my doors are open to listing and resolve issues. It will not be proper or complete if I don't talk small politics. Yes, sir. <laughs> I know that uh, a lot of you, you uh, saw something flying in the social media. Let me, let me brief you. We had a meeting and we agreed that not just the river state, but all the state affected, that the A schools should be extended for three months. This extension is not bringing in new names. The extension also did not say you're working without the authority of the governor. So for those lists you saw, and those was altered, I can assure you it's not going to stand. Thank you! For, 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 for record purposes, so that you understand, we also agreed that we are going to have, in fact, there is a neck meeting on the 18th of this month that should ratify that decision. So what you're seeing there is desperate people who like media, who like people to, to get empty, empty drunk. Thank you, sir. So don't bother about anything. Nothing is happening. In fact, how do people say it? Nothing mega. You can see, you can see how how restless 
how restless they've been. Huh? Since I made one small statement yesterday, people are restless. We'll continue to make them restless. They won't know where we're coming from. We also hit them the way we hit them that day. But this time around. So please, for those of you that are worried this morning when you saw those things flying, go and rest. <laughs> nothing, nothing is happening. <laughs> Our state is really important to every one of us. And I'll continue to say it. Our desire to choose peace is because Progress cannot come to anywhere if there is no peace. It is not a mistake. It's because our love for these things is genuine. Yes. Continue to tow the path of peace. Even while we do it, we will not allow anybody, not just one person, another group of people, to take our meekness for weakness.